lot of people want to know about the actor's process. How do I get ready to shoot an episode of Ask the Mead Maker? And the answer is, it's a lengthy, complicated process, but I think it's really important for you all at home to understand how I transition from my day-to-day -day operations to doing something like this. So today, I'm gonna show you. Okay, you ready to shoot? Welcome to Ask the Mead Maker, where I, Ricky the Mead Maker, answer your questions about mead making, mead drinking, mead brewing, and really, any question you're willing to send to me. Our first question this week comes from Azazel, who is having bottle conditioning issues. Bottle conditioning is when you put the bubbles in your mead or other beverage inside the bottle by adding sugar and letting the yeast re-ferment it. Now, Azazel is using carb tabs, which are basically just little sugar pills. So, he puts them in, he waits, no bubbles. The question is, why? And the answer is, something's going wrong with that yeast. There's a slim chance you're not sealing your caps properly, but it's much more likely the yeast isn't viable for some reason. You've hit its alcohol threshold, you've hit its attenuation point, or it's just so old from aging that mead that it's not strong enough to create the bubbles. So what you can do is repitch a yeast. A champagne yeast, which I rarely use in mead, is a great option here you throw it in, it'll make the bubbles, and you'll have your carbonated mead. While we're on the subject of champagne yeast, I have made it known in the past that I don't recommend it for making mead, despite what numerous online sources would have you do. Birger writes to me, asking, I've made a few batches and they all come out tasting very alcoholic with very little flavor. What am I doing wrong? The answer is, first, check your strain. Are you using a champagne strain? Because that's just what it's supposed to do. Clean out all the flavor and give you alcohol. I would recommend something like a white wine strain or even a beer strain. The other question he asks is, is a lack of nutrient possibly an issue? And I'd say, absolutely. Our next question comes from Vorzhaska Milcitnia. And the question is, I make meat at home and usually the end of fermentation is like when the bubbles do not appear in airlock. But how do you do it on a larger scale? Do you check the gravitation? Or do you put your ear to the reservoir and hear it is already ready? Now, I often make fun of people's grammar and English, but Vorchatska, your English is much better than my Polish. So, thank you for your question. The answer is, we have an airlock too. It's much larger and looks like this. And when the bubbling stops, it's ready. Karen would like to know how one controls the alcohol content in mead. And the answer is, it's actually very simple. Unlike in beer where you have fermentable and unfermentable sugars and bringing them into balance will give you a certain attenuation, mead, almost every gram of that sugar is fermentable within the alcohol tolerance of the yeast. So you can just go online and use a calculator. There are mead calculators. Google it and it will tell you almost exactly what alcohol content you can expect from a given amount of honey and a given amount of water. Our last question this week comes from Writers on the Wall, who asked not quite the right question. I believe Writers on the Wall wanted to know what the most efficient way to contact Ricky the Mead Maker is. The answer is to use our contact form or email me directly at ricky at grunfell.com. But what Writers on the Wall asked was, what is the best way to contact Ricky the Mead Maker. And the best way, without a doubt, is my very own telegram service. The joke's not funny. Stop. It's the end of the show. Stop. That's our last question. Stop. 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 Ricky? Thank you, Ricky. How many of us are there? This week's word is adjunct. Adjunct is an additional sugar, not the primary fermentable, added to a fermentation. So in beer, honey could be an adjunct. Some people use corn or rice. But in mead, 
Honey is the primary fermentable, and something like cherry juice or raisins or any number of other sugars could be your adjunct. Adjunct is our word of the week and the end of our show. Keep sending your questions and I'll get to them as soon as possible. Cheers. Are you sure it wouldn't be better if I do it like a singing telegram? The show's not funny.